Yeah, Aaron, we're here on Spence Road just off of Highway 101, and this is the area where a woman was found earlier this month. She was severely beaten, left with horrifying injuries from being sexually assaulted and left here to die. In this secluded area on the outskirts of Salinas, it's a common area where truck drivers come through. On the evening of December 14th, a truck driver taking a break found a woman laying on the ground bleeding. She'd been uh, violently sexually assaulted and left on the side of the road. He got out, he realized there was this victim on the side of the road and did exactly what he should have done. He dialed 911. The woman was then taken to Natividad Hospital where doctors reported to deputies that she was experiencing drastic injuries, including blood clots, which needed surgery. A horrifying and shocking scene. But truck driver Eli Hoover says it's something that truck drivers come across more often than one would think. I mean, you go to a lot of places that aren't, not a lot of people cruising around, so it's not uncommon to see some kind of sketchy, shady stuff going on. More common than you would think, for sure. Uh, like a lot of like rest stops and truck stops, they can be, there's a lot of kind of weird crime that can go on. After checking surveillance footage, detectives tracked down 43-year-old Jesus Urbe from Gonzales. All the evidence that we collected, the interviews that we were able to do um, is, is what led to him. The detectives were able to locate him. They got an interview with him. They subsequently arrested him. He was booked into the Monterey County Jail and his bail set at more than one million dollars. An extraordinarily high bail because of the charges involved here, because we're talking about attempted murder, kidnapping, uh, sexual assault, all violent crimes. Now, investigators tell me tonight that this was not a random attack, and even though they have someone arrested in this case, they still urge anyone with any information at all to contact, uh, to contact investigators with the Monterey County Sheriff's Office.